hey guys welcome back this is the part two of how to sew an asymmetry dress how to cut and sew an asymmetry dress and if you are here to watch the part one the, i will drop the link in the description box so that once you click on the video it will take you straight to the tutorial after cutting out the pattern the next thing you want to do you want to pin it down on the fabric like the way you see me doing in the video to do you want to lay your pattern nice and flat i've not cut out this piece but when i cut out the remaining i just need to cut it out so i've laid the pattern nice so i'm going to cut it out so once i'm done cutting this out i'll show you what to look like and this was when i was cutting out the pattern please make sure you draw your green lines and follow your green lines when you are cutting out your pattern your patterns add your seam allowance i added the seam allowance directly on the fabric To pad the back side, I'm using a bra foam. You can use a wadding stay or any stay that you are used to. Then I'm going to place it half inches away from the seam before placing my stay on it. Take this to the iron table and activate the gum. This is the back. I fixed the back. This is the side. This is the side that goes into the uh, asymmetry design. So now I'm going to stitch this part together and I'm going to stitch this part together and this is the sizing for the back. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have been working on tail, so that's why. So this is the extension part, pattern, and I've pinned the corset part of it. I've also pinned the down part and this is what it is looking like. So I'm not going to take this to the sewing machine and stitch it down. Now I've gone ahead to so this is the back facing. This is the this is the belt that goes around the waistline. This is my upper bodies. This is the front part, and this is the inner part of it. I had it this day, and this is what it looked like. Now this is the lining for this piece. This is the lining, so there's nothing inside. There's no cup inside. Now this is the part that goes into this place can you see the part that will go into this part so you can see to complete the whole front piece and this is the back you can see the back this is the back this is what the back look like and let me move this this is the back and this is what it look like so this is the asymmetric piece that will go to the side of this dress i had it and hardness so that that place will go up so let me just put it on that heat so that you guys can see the effect this is going to have you can see that it's going to pop up at the side it needs to make it look classy and this is the other piece let me show you how i did it so now this is the long horizontal piece that will go into the that will go into the side seam so before you do that you create a long piece you can see it i created that long um long stitch so now the next thing you want to do you want to start pulling you want to start pulling so i'm going to start pulling this make sure you put gently so that the thread don't cut so you need to put and spread it into the pattern like this so now once you're done with this so I was done with this part and I was sure that I'm okay with what I have here. I'm going to come to the other hand there and repeat the same thing. That's how to gather if you don't have a gathering foot. See you So don't forget there is a midpoint that I not here. So I know where to know. 
so this is what it will look like i hope this is it so now let's join all the pieces together this was when i was joining all my pattern pieces together and after you're done stitching you take it to your weaving machine and conceal those rough edges before installing the zipper i started to put it on and see what it looked like i love the old outlook the way it's clenched to my skin like a second skin you can see the side uh the effects of the adnet around the gathered part you can see how nice this look on me and this is the inside of the clothing you can see how neat the inside of the clothes is you can actually watch your clothes and dry it outside and um, this is the seam i give it a nice press and this is the zipper part you can see how neat the back neckline was concealed and this is how the inner part is looking like this is the bed the bed was stitched to the side seam and this is the down part this is the zipper if you don't know how to fix it please just write zip on the type zip on the comment section i will be making a video on how to zip how to install a zip on a dress a skirt or on a pants and this is this outlook look at the inside part i did not had a lining i'm okay with this because i love the fabric i love how it feels on my skin i'm just going to remove that um thread that is hanging around and that's one thing about sewing once you are done stitching and you are okay go ahead and start cutting out all the loose thread that you have inside your clothing it is called finishing by the time you are done stitching and everything you want to go in with your scissors and trim off all the thread that's why when you are sewing make sure you cut off any unnecessary thread that is hanging around your dress or your garments i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumb up like and share my video and don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platform my name is omoye gaolu watosin your beloved fashion tutor and designer have a nice day and bye